Basketball is rewarding. It's more than just playing a game. You always think about what you're going to do when you win. You always think about, oh, this will be great when we win, and uh, you do that. Then that always doesn't happen. It's nothing's ever smooth. Dealing with that adversity, um, you, you don't realize that at that moment. But looking back, it's how does that? That's what defines you in my eyes. Um, dealing from not being good enough at, at one point to moving forward is what defines you, what defines uh, that, that's that bigger goal almost uh, and how you move forward. We have been the, bo the, the little boy on the block that just gets the, the snot beat out of him for years and then we actually laid some thumping uh, on some teams that uh, had maybe kind of done that to us in the past. Looking at the whole season, like from my ninth grade year winning like six games or something and then my sophomore year we only won one and then junior year we won like six or seven again games again and then like my senior year just like all that hard work coach put in with us and I put in just paid off we had a great season and well at first we started out slow and we started at 0 and 2 and that was kind of rough and we got down about having another season like we did before and then we started to win a couple games, we ended up being like 500, and that's where we kind of realized where we can be a good team. I don't know, it was a good season. Like, we started out kind of slow, and we were afraid that it would end up a lot like last year, but then we picked it up and we all learned a lot. We won a bunch of games in overtime, or we bought a five, to five points for less game, so that showed from the past two years, because last year we lost a lot of games where they were very close. This year we matured and we handled ourselves in the fourth quarter and just stuck it out through the games. Last year we weren't that great, but this year we went from being low to such a great team. We just worked so much better as a team this year. It was it was really fun. Um, I never would have thought that we like made it that far because in the past years we were pretty bad, but we kept working at it. And I watch other seniors; they're disappointed each year, but this year I'm like really happy I had a good team like this to carry us the whole way there. We're, we're a small team. We don't have, I don't have 80 guys I got to worry about. I have 15. Um, and we spend so much time together that I can, I, you know, June and July, I talk to them. I talk to a bunch of them. I know I made some of my best friends, like Devin and Jake and Corbin, through basketball and just anything like that just brings us together, something we all have in common, something we all love. I mean, we've been playing together for so long, and they're just always there for me, and I'm always there for them. I got close to a lot of people this season, a lot of the team. Most of my best friends actually came from basketball, so. I know they would trust me, I trust them. I'll put the ball in their hands and they'll get us wins, they'll get us anything. I have picture perfect ideals. I, I think at the advanced levels you can kind of recruit those kids to fit your philosophy, but at this level um, you've got to change your philosophy and what you want to do um, year to year based on who you have. You know, I can't go bring in a 6'6 athletic kid to, to run point guard for us. I don't have that luxury. So um, it's what players do we have and how can we figure out a way to win games with those guys? Because this is my third year doing it and I'm finally starting to get the hang of it and it, it just works. I mean, he knows, he knows what he's doing. He's, he knows when to, uh, when to be serious and when to have fun. He's not like a lot of coaches who beat up on their kids for doing things wrong or something. There's so many different things you can do on each play. Even though everything's so simple in his offense, it's pretty hard too. I mean, it's, it's complicated because in a pick and roll, there's so many things you can do. And that's what I love about his offense, it's simple but it still makes you think every single play. Teams didn't know how to respond to it. They didn't know what to do. And they don't know how to um, respond to our 
offensive and defensive plays that he's taught us and put into our into our team. Hey, oh right now let's battle up for one reason. That is now 11 wins. We are guaranteed in the playoffs. Since 2000. Well, he always knows what he's doing. He always has a plan for us, even then, even when we're not running it right. He <laughs> tries to get us to run it. Some people try to say that you, your coach shouldn't be your friend. Mm -hmm. it, I, I think that the fact that he is our friend is what makes me buy into this. Like, knowing that he's got my back, yeah, I'm going to buy into it. I, I just love basketball. The best part about it for me is how easy it is to practice by yourself. Like you don't have to have a partner with you to practice. You can all you need is a ball and a hoop, and you can do so many things to get better. I don't know. Ever since I've been little, I just loved it. Like even if I'm doing good or bad, if I'm just playing, I'm always having fun. I don't think there's any other sport like it. Uh, I mean, you can, kind of like Devin said, you can practice it on your own. No other sport you can do that. So I think more basketball more than any other sport, you control how good you can be. I have fun when I play, pretty much, and I like the game. The game has meant a lot to me throughout my entire life. Um, it's something I enjoyed playing. Uh, it's something I've always enjoyed being around. It's something I've always looked forward to. Um, and that passion that kind of I have, if I can convey that on to more people, I think that's the, that's the game to me. Basketball is, basketball's fun. Hard. A passion I have, I don't know. The best sport known to man. <laughs> basketball is life. Uh, I've had a lot of experiences, good and bad, throughout the game. Uh, you know, there's always a winner, there's always a loser, and it's, uh, that helps people learn. It's, those are life lessons, I guess. Um, it's more than just playing a game. The point guard is a junior, number one, Jeff Shoemaker. Thank you.
ready.